very good morning to all today we'll start with a new chapter that is chapter number 14 and the name of the chapter is rotation and revolution now here in page number 116 you can see the big idea so here these are the topics that we will be discussing in this chapter and they are rotation revolution effects of revolution solstices and equinoxes and here you can see at a glance the heading is movements of the earth that is rotation and revolution under rotation comes causes day and night and revolution it causes unequal lengths of day and night and change of seasons and here in news maker you can see the picture of sir isaac newton so who was he he was a british mathematician physicist and astronomer and he is regarded as one of the prominent scientist of all time he wrote the book named mathematical principles of natural philosophy which changed astronomy forever and this book consists of laws of theory and gravity so this was about sir isaac newton now let's discuss about rotation and revolution so kids you all know that the universe consists of the sun stars planets galaxies dust cloud light and even time and earth is the third planet in the solar system from the sun and it is also the largest terrestrial planet in the solar system the earth was formed about 4.54 billion years ago and in the beginning the earth was in the molten state and over time the surface of the earth cooled and it became crust and you also know that earth is the only planet that supports life and the earth has two different types of movements that is rotation and revolution and these two movements of the earth they are responsible for different phenomena like day and night seasons spring autumn winter rainy and also the oceanic currents and wind so these two movements of the earth they are responsible for different types of phenomena on the earth so let's discuss them one by one first we'll discuss about rotation so what do you understand by rotation rotation is the movement of the earth on its own axis and you all know that axis is the imaginary line that passes through the center of the earth connecting north pole and the south pole so here in this picture you can see the axis that is connecting the north pole and the south pole that passes through the center of the earth and here the earth rotates in west to east direction that is a counter clockwise direction on its own axis and the axis is making an angle of 23.5 degree so let's see how it is formed here so this is a line ab which is perpendicular to the line cd this cd line is the orbital plane so what is orbital plane the plane formed by the orbit is known as the orbital plane so here the axis is tilted at an angle of 23.5 away from the line drawn perpendicular to the line cd which is the orbital plane and here the axis is also making an angle of 66 1 by 2 degree to the orbital plane so this was about the axis of the earth as we have already discussed that the earth rotates on its own axis from west to east direction and that's why sun rises in the east and sets in the west and it takes 24 hours that means one day to complete one rotation on its own axis and the speed of the earth's rotation at equator is 1670 km per hour and we can also say that the rotation of the earth is the daily motion of the earth now 
this rotation causes day and night let's discuss how it happens this is because of the spherical shape of the earth as you can see here the portion that is facing towards the sun experience daytime and the other half remains in darkness and this happens gradually and not suddenly now here the duration of day and night is not equal at all places on the earth as you can see here in this picture the northern hemisphere that is the hemisphere which is above the equator is facing towards the sun and the southern hemisphere that is the hemisphere which is below the equator is away from the sun as a result of this the duration of daytime in the northern hemisphere is longer and in the southern hemisphere the duration of night time is longer and here when you look in the arctic circle in the northern hemisphere it's completely day that is the sun will not set and in the antarctic circle that is in the southern hemisphere it remains night where the sun does not rise so here you can see the difference in the duration of day and night due to the inclination of the earth's axis so this was about rotation now let's discuss about the circle of illumination so what do you understand by the circle of illumination it is the circle that divides the day from the night over the earth so here you can see a circle drawn on the earth that divides the day from the night over the earth so let's define the circle of illumination it is the circular line that separates night from day over the earth so this was about the circle of illumination now here you have an activity you have to explain what will happen if the earth's axis become vertical you have to write the answer and submit in teams that's all for today we'll meet in the next class thank you